it's really not as bad as people are saying it is. The glacier way back there is making some wild noises. Literally feels like we stepped back in time. Today we are driving the McCarthy Road to McCarthy and to the Kennecott Copper Mines, potentially. We'll be driving through the Wrangell Mountains in Wrangell St. Elias National Park. The McCarthy Road is a 63 mile long gravel road that used to be the railroad. It has a reputation for being um, a little bit treacherous, so we're going to show you like exactly what, uh, what it's like and so you can know if it's something you want to try or not. Chitna became a town in 1910 and it was originally a stopover for the trains bringing ore from the Kennecott copper mine over to the ports of Cordova. When the copper dried up here, uh, Chitna kind of dried up with it and now it's kind of a ghost town. It, it almost feels like you're going right back to the early 1900s. Uh, my family actually has a cool connection here. We have a little cabin here and an old log church from when Chitna was booming. And so my dad tells me all sorts of stories of spending the summer here when he was growing up. Um, this is my first time coming in the fall and I have to say Chitna in the fall is just gorgeous. So I couldn't be more excited to take on the McCarthy Road today. And this is where the McCarthy Road begins, so we'll take you along for the adventure. entered the national park so far the road's been paved on and off it's not too bad but there's some sections where there's a ton of potholes so you're just going to take it a little slow through those sections a few frost heaves um there were some sections that were kind of along uh, a little bit of a cliff but it wasn't wasn't that bad uh, nothing too daunting for sure back here we have an old railroad bridge that was converted and it's over a big canyon it's pretty cool uh, it's one of the highest uh bridges I've seen and it's like one lane and it really uh, really feels like you're way up there when you're on the bridge. So we're here at the Gilahina Trestle behind me. Uh, 
This is the longest trestle on the Kennecott Railroad. There was over 30 miles of trestles actually between here and Cordova. But this incredible trestle that spanned long ways was built in just eight days. So they were racing to complete the railroad um, and they really did an incredible job. They built it in the winter and because they wanted to have it ready to go by springtime, high copper prices. So to me, it's pretty amazing that they built something using over a million board feet of lumber in just eight days. to the end of McCarthy Road. We're just parked here at this beautiful view. Honestly, the road out here was not bad. No, not at all. I don't... <laughs> I, I don't understand why so many people are freaking out about how horrible this road is. It's, yeah, there's potholes. Yeah, there's rough sections of the road, but just take it through, slow through those parts. But for the most part, it's pretty... Pretty smooth, pretty not even good. washboardy. Like, <laughs> like, I don't know, it's... Uh... If it was paved, it wouldn't be that much better. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I don't know what all the fuss is about. Um, if you're ever in Alaska, definitely don't let people's overviews of the road stop you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's beautiful and uh, lots of little lakes with mountain views. And this view here is just spectacular. So, yeah, I'd say it's worth it. And the views the whole drive are pretty nice as well. So. Um, we're almost ready to check in for the night before we continue exploring tomorrow, but first we're gonna hike over to this little lake and get some photos before the sun goes away. And then we're gonna head to bed and continue exploring tomorrow. Well, this was a really beautiful lake. There's actually a hike that goes around it. I'm not sure if we're gonna do it or not. We did plan on it, but the view from here is the most, I feel like it's the most beautiful you can get here. So um, yeah, sunset's beautiful here. It lights up the mountains, absolutely gorgeous. It's actually frozen right now. So if you throw some rocks on it, it sounds pretty cool. And the glacier way back there is making some wild noises. <laughs> sounds like it's really hungry or something, but. Yeah, definitely gotta come check out this lake. So we didn't realize, but Will parked over there and we walked through over there on some rocks when we could have just drove down this road up to these little outhouse, this little outhouse and 
park here and walk down to the lake, which is like 100 meters, not even. We had a good night and now it's the next day. We're gonna head down to McCarthy. It doesn't look like the shuttles are running this time of year. So if you come at the end of September, beginning of October, don't expect there to be shuttles to take you to McCarthy. Yeah, um, the road only stays open till October 15th. Um, so in like 16 days uh, and it, I couldn't find anything online about the shuttles being done for the season. It actually seems like the shuttles are free now um, all the way to Kennecott, which is nice. But uh, I'm going to guess they're done for the season. So we'll see. We're going to we're going to cross our fingers because if we can get a shuttle to Kennecott, there's some cool things to see out there. But if not, we'll explore McCarthy and see where we go from there. Yeah. How far is the hike to McCarthy? Uh, it's only like half a mile. Okay. Um, so it's not bad at all. Not bad. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Normally, you can only take a shuttle to McCarthy and Kennecott, but over there, we just saw an RV drive across that bridge there. Now, I looked up and I can't find anything online about driving, but I have a feeling out of peak season, you actually may be able to drive all the way there. So we're gonna give it a try. Well, Will let us astray yet again. <laughs> uh, something I'm good at. Um, yeah, it says private access local access only so i guess walking it is but that's okay it's not too far hopefully there's a shuttle from mccarthy to the kennecott lines but I guess, not, oh, yeah. well. oh well we'll find out when we get there this trail's looking a little muddy so i think we're gonna continue on the main path for now. So online it said that the potato would be open. Unfortunately it's not. This is the second time we miss out on the potato. We were just in Valdez last week and the potato was closed there as well. We're looking forward to it because we heard it's pretty good. So if you come when it's open, definitely give it a try. We're having pretty low hopes that anything's gonna be open when we get to McCarthy, but I guess we'll find out when we get there. Literally feels like we stepped back in time. We got these old fashioned buildings. We got some old cars back there, but there's nobody around. It feels like a little ghost town. Yeah, a little, uh, little interesting, a little eerie almost, uh, walking empty streets. The shuttle definitely not running. Well, I guess this is it for McCarthy. Uh, we're gonna head back to the van and get ready for a hike back over there. It goes to a lake, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, but if you're here, come a little earlier during the year so you can go to Kennecott Mine. If you come this time of year, you can walk, um, but it's a nine mile walk, so, or a 10 mile run, yeah. Head, right? Yeah. Yeah, and if, if you do take the shuttle and go there, you should definitely do one of the beautiful hikes over there. Yeah, there's a Groot Glacier hike, which has really great reviews, and you can walk up onto a glacier. It's pretty cool. Um, so definitely recommend that. We thought about uh, hiking out to Kennecott, but we're more interested in the Root Glacier, and if we add that together, you know, we're pushing 20 miles. Um, so it's just yeah. more than we wanted to do today, especially with it being a little colder. And so uh, we're, we're not getting to do everything here, but it has really been beautiful. Well, we haven't got to go and have the potato and go into the little shops. We got to see all the fall colors and the snow uh, peaked mountains, which is really a treat. So I'm glad we got to come this time of year. So I guess you can learn from this video. If you don't really care about going all the way to Kennecott and you just want to do the drive, come in the fall. You'll see all the beautiful fall yeah. colors. But if you want to go to Kennecott Mine and you don't want to walk all the way there, come a little earlier in the year and you'll be able to do everything you want to do. 
from what it looks like, I would say the peak time for fall colors here would be probably September 15th. Uh, second week of September seems like it would be probably right about perfect. Um, but obviously every year that shifts around, but I think that's probably a safe bet. We're here and it's... Uh, we're here and it's September 30th and we are past peak of the fall colors so a lot of the leaves were gone but it was still beautiful uh, and there's there's always patches of, of beautiful gold like i'm looking at the mountains right now and there's lots of little yellow patches up the mountains which is quite special so before we head on we are going to hike west kennecott glacier trail we are now at the trailhead and it's a four kilometer trail up to a glacier and it's rated as easy it should take us about an hour to do We made it to the end of the trail according to all trails. We got Mount Regal behind us. We got this beautiful view, but we're going to hike over to that spot over there and it looks like it'll be a better view over there. Yep. It's been a nice hike, uh, very easy and mostly through the trees, but the views here are really special. Well, we're done our adventure down the McCarthy Road. We enjoyed the beautiful views, mountains, and glaciers. We really can't see why people were complaining so much about the road. It's really not as bad as people are saying it is. Any yes. car could do it. <laughs> yeah, there's potholes in some sections where it's like worse, but you can literally just move over a little bit. Yeah. You're good. <laughs> I think I've seen worse potholes on the paved highway, so <laughs> really uh, road conditions shouldn't stop you from, from making this beautiful little road trip. But again, as we mentioned, uh, if you come in the fall, expect things to be closed. I don't know when things close exactly, but like I said, it's September 28th, 29th. What are we, the 30th now? Last day so, of September. Yeah, 29th and 30th, and everything was closed in McCarthy. So uh, if you come around this time, don't expect it to be open. If you want peak fall colors, come mid-September. If you want everything to be open, come earlier. Yeah. I think it opens up at the end of May, um, so anytime between end of May and mid-September, it's golden. That concludes this video. Thank you for joining us. If you want to follow along on our adventures all the way down to Argentina, give, give us a subscribe and a thumbs up on this video, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload. <laughs> see you next time. Bye! <laughs>